Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're calculating probabilities so we can answer questions from exercise 5a. So here in the counting probabilities section, hopefully this is going to be a lot of revision material to you and maybe it's stuff you've covered all the way back, maybe in year 9 for example. So here let's go through a little question. Uh, two spinners numbered 1 to 5 are spun and the sum of the numbers is calculated. Find the probability where x equals 5 and the probability where x is greater than 5. So the sum of the numbers is what we're going to use as the letter x. So it's when x is equal to 5 or when x is bigger than 5. And one way of doing this would be to draw a sample space out and write down all the different ways that we can get 5. So 4 add 1 and 1 add 4, 2 and 3 and 3 and 2. So that's four different ways out of 16 possible combinations. So that's going to be 1 out of 4. For the probability of x is greater than 5, what we're looking for here is all of those times when the x value is greater than 5 and strictly greater than 5 as well. So there are six of these possibilities. Simplify your fractions and we get 3 out of 8. Okay, so hopefully that was nice and simple for you. If not, then maybe go and ask your teacher for help. Um, here, we're going to move on to a different question. The table shows the time taken in minutes for a group of students to complete a number puzzle. So six people took between five and seven minutes, 13 people took between seven and nine minutes, and so on. Question A is to estimate the probability that a student completes the puzzle in under nine minutes. So that's these people here. We have 19 people who are going to complete the puzzle in less than nine minutes out of a total number of people of 40. So it's 19 out of 40. Part B is estimate the probability that a student completes the puzzle in 10 minutes or more. Well, here we only have a group between nine and 11. So what we'll have to do is cut those 12 people in half. So we'll just take half of that group. So we'll take six people there add on to the 5, add on to the 4, and we get 15 people out of 40. Simplify your fraction where possible, so it's 3 out of 8. Alright then, hopefully that was all nice and easy peasy to you. Uh, pause the video and have a go at this question here. Alright then, hopefully that was okay for you. Uh, the masses of 140 bull mastiffs are recorded on a table. One dog is chosen at random. Find the probability that the mass of the dog is 54 kilograms or more. So this group of people, these group of dogs here are going to be 54 kilograms or more. That's going to give us uh, six, 56 dogs out of 140. And we can simplify this fraction here. Uh, 56 divided by 140, which gives us 2 out of 5. Part B is find the probability that the dog is between 48 kilograms and 57 kilograms. So between 48 and 57, that's this amount of dogs here. So it's 25 add 42 add 33. So that's 100 out of the 140 dogs, which is going to give us um, divided by 140, which gives us 5 out of 7. Oh yeah, obviously divide by 20. Okay, so the probability that a bull mastiff ch was chosen at random has a mass under 53 kilograms is 0.54. So 53 or under is 0.54. Is it more or less likely that a bull mastiff chosen at random has a mass under 53 kilograms? Okay, um, it's going to be more likely... I thought the question would be more difficult than this. It would be more likely as 53, 54% of dogs are under 53 kilograms, which is more than half. I suppose with a, with a stupid question like that, you've got to give a really clear and obvious answer. So we'll just make sure that The, mark, the uh, examiner knows what we're doing. All right then, so hopefully that was really easy for you. Um, move straight on to the next video if I were you. Thanks for watching.